And today we've got here the Dengbei Atom, which is a laser mini projector, but only mini in size. It looks like my Mac Mini, and if you have one, you know what I mean, but it has a lot of features that makes it a bit bigger than its size. Now, it is a laser projector with Google TV integrated, 1200 lumens, capable of projecting up to 180 inches with HDR10, Dolby Digital Plus, it has a night protection detail that I really enjoyed and much more. So we are going to take a closer look at it and hopefully I can share all the details that the Dengbei Atom has. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with a coupon code that you can see on screen, and down below in the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below just next to the Dengbei Atom so that you can check all the specifications, prices, availability, and so on. Now, one of the questions that you might ask on the Dengbei Atom is comparing with other projectors that we have seen, where does it stand? So right out of the start, comparing with dozens of projectors that we have seen, the Dengbei Atom so far is placed in second and just beaten by the AWOL Vision, which I will leave the link down below. And if you can afford it, it will be a great purchase for you. But talking about one that we can compare here is the 4Movie S5, which has a lower price point and it's great. Link will be also down below, but the Dengbei Atom beats it in a few things, including brightness, which is one of the things that did improve press me. Now, on the other hand, the oil vision is much more expensive and it has a lot more features, but is in a different league. So I would compare the Dengbei Atom to the 4Movie S5, having in mind that the 4Movie S5 is a bit lower in some specifications and in price, and the Dengbei Atom is a bit higher in price and also in some specifications. Now, one of the things that I did notice right out of the start when I did turn it on for the first time was the brightness. I had my windows open on my cinema setup and the image quality and brightness was just Awesome. The Dengbei Atom surprised me right there when I did turn on uh, with lights and it maintained a spectacular image. Hopefully I can share to that side of the screen with different levels of brightness, with different kinds of content on the projector. And I do have on my cinema setup with the gym on the side about 25,000 lumens of bulbs in that area and it did handle everything without any issues whatsoever. And for those that don't have an idea of what 25,000 lumens is in terms of bulbs, uh, there is no living room or no kitchen or room that has 25,000 lumens. When we push out a bulb, usually it's about 800 lumens maximum, 600, 500 the average. But here on the office, I've got about 30,000. And then on the cinema setup with the gym, I've got 25,000. And it did handle well, actually better than well. Besides the brightness, I also really enjoyed the colors. Just spectacular. It supports HDR, HLG and a maximum resolution of 1080, which honestly seemed like more to me and I had to check the specifications to make sure it wasn't 1440p or something like that. Now it is 1080 resolution and it will go up to 180 inches but in my setup at three meters distance from the projector wall it projects around 120 inches without losing any brightness. It has two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of flash storage so we can install apps on the integrated Google TV without needing a separate box. Basically, for those that have never used Google TV, it offers the possibility of using any Android TV application such as YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, and so on. So a lot of TV apps that we can use and even some games if we want to. Normally, we would need to connect a separate box like we do in some other projectors, but in this particular case, it's not necessary. And in terms of usage, I did find it smooth without any kind of delay, providing similar experience to the Google Chromecast with Google TV, but the Dengbei Atom has more 
storage. So if we have to compare this with any Android TV box that we have reviewed here on the channel, I would say that it's comparable with the Google TV with Chromecast, the latest generation 4K and so on and so forth in terms of hardware, but it has more space so we can install more apps. Also the experience with image adjustments, especially the automatic image adjustment was great. It can automatically adjust the image to fit the screen or wall and focus automatically. Now, there's an option that allows us to activate and when it detects movement it adjusts settings automatically for the screen it will fill it it will do the keystone correction zoom and focus however in the menu there are options that will allow us to adjust manually because honestly sometimes it does a great job in terms of automatically adjusting everything but sometimes it's not really accurate so if i want to adjust the keystone which for example is an option i can activate it the menu using the side button on the remote control and then have access to manual focus for example which i don't feel the need to use it but i do feel the need to use sometimes the keystone correction manually so that i can fine tune and it makes total sense to me because sometimes it might not be the perfect alignment depending on the setup that we have and probably we need to put it like this when the wall is like this and if we need to fix it then we have those manual adjustments we can also control the zoom manually and there's the person detection option which is really cool this was the first time that i did find this option on any projector so far and i do believe that it's really useful especially when we are talking about projectors that have a laser intensity such as this one which will project that great brightness and when we opt in to the person detection what it does is that it will activate the eye protection so we will not have the laser shining on our eyes it will use the front camera to detect that and it will disable the image projector now we have the option to press the remote control to disable it or we can disable it and not use it and i do see some scenarios where we don't want to use that for example in a classroom where i know that i will be passing in front of a little bit of the image and i don't want the image to block then i can disable but in a normal usage where we have children and young people that might pass in front of it and the light is strong then this is a great thing and once again it was the first time that i've seen on a projector which is great the remote control is bluetooth and it features shortcut buttons on the right side for focusing and accessing the projector menu additionally it has standard buttons and shortcuts for netflix youtube and prime video the microphone functions well in degrees celsius tonight in parkle the forecast is around 16 and cloudy Currently, it's 18 degrees Celsius and cloudy. Where is Portugal? Southern Europe. According to portaldiplomatico.n And the access to both the Google TV and also the projector settings is done through the remote control as there are no physical buttons on the projector itself and probably that's one of the features that I enjoy because it keeps a slick design with no buttons and what's not. In terms of size, it has 19.5 centimeters by 19.5 centimeters and roughly 5 centimeters, not that much, 4.7 centimeters in height and it has 1.3 kilograms, actually 1.27 kilograms it has one hdmi input one usb one 3.5 audio jack and dc in one power button at the front it has the sensor for the automatic image adjustment and at the bottom it has a quarter inch screw so that we can put on a ceiling mount or any other kind of mount and then this rubberized surface right over here and the air intake and basically this is the deng bay at a mini laser projector which in my opinion it's not that mini only in size and it looks awesome if we put it on a surface such as this any kind of furniture that being said hopefully the video was helpful so that you can decide the next projector for your living room in my opinion as i stated at the beginning this is as far as all the projectors that i've tested so far the one that comes in second just beaten by the beast a well vision which is from a different 
leak. So if you are looking for a solution to put on a living room or a room that you want to let the light come in and still have a great image, this is the best option so far. That being said, hope that the video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.